So we are back with our direct and indirect speech, or what we call report speech. Now we have covered statements, then yes or no questions, and the third we also saw how to change W questions into indirect speech. Now questions, as far as questions are concerned, you have to change them into statements. Understand? Question mark has to be removed. Now we have got a third uh, kind of sentence we can see that is called imperatives. Imperatives means commands. Commands, orders, requests, warnings, advice, suggestions, prayers, commands. Isn't it? Commands. Commands. Such sentences we call imperatives and imperative means order. Imperial comes from imperial. What is imperial means connected to an emperor. Yes. So it's the prerogative of the emperor to king. It's the prerogative, the privilege of the emperor to order, to to warn, to advise, to suggest, to command, and so on. What is the peculiarity of imperative sentences? They don't have expressed the subjects. For example, we say get out. So what is understood is you get out. Isn't it? You get out. Keep quiet. This is keep quiet. This is an order. No? Get out. Keep quiet. That is an imperative sentence. Understood is you keep quiet. Isn't it? Or yes, I call the witness. The call the witness. Call the police. Please forgive me. Please forgive, forgive me. Pardon me. This is, this is pardon me. Isn't it? Uh, God, please help me. Yes. Help me. So that is, these are what we call imperative sentences. Get out. Go out. Isn't it? Don't cry. Do not sit late. Don't sit late. Don't. Don't sit late. Advice. Don't sit late. And uh, don't mobile and waste your time. So these are advice. Advice. Isn't it? Yes. Pieces of advice we can say. Now these are imperative sentences. Now how to convert the imperative sentences into in the, in the indirect speech? That's very simple. Just convert the verb into an, an infinitive with the two. See, for example, we say, Go. What is the infinitive? To go. So this. Then we say come. To come. This is infinitive. Or sing. To sing. This is, this is how you make infinitives. So let's see. One or two. And then this becomes, it will become easy for you. Alright? Yes. There we are. Now we are seeing, see the judge set. Okay. The judge said, and you have to change the reporting verb according to the meaning of the sentence. If it is an order, say order. If it is a suggestion, say suggested. If it is a question, say asked. If it is a what prayer, you say prayed. If it is a request, you say requested. Understand? Like that. So here we are go. Here we go. Uh, the judge said. The judge said. Call the witness. Call the witness. See? The judge said, call the witness. So there is an order. So you will say, the judge ordered. Judge. Judge ordered. Ordered. Them. Some of him to call the witness. To call the witness. See that? Or, see that? See that? Or then we have got another sentence. Uh, there's a suggestion like that. Uh, somebody says, Shut your mouth. So that is. He said, He said, Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Means stop talking. So you say, That is an order. No? Or you can say command. Uh, he commanded. 
he commanded to commanded them or just he commanded to shut to shut the his second he he commanded him to shut his mouth to shut his mouth see this is the verb and this is the infinitive understand yes then you again have other examples like uh, let's go he said let's go let us go means allow us to go that's the thing he said let us or please let me go he said he said please let me go so that is it so the, the indirect form will be he requested them requested them to let him go so please will, please the needs are request please is understood also he requested them to let him go understand if it is a suggestion you say say for example you say he is the he said Let's go for a picnic. He said, "Let's go for a picnic." So it's a suggestion. Then he said, that "He suggested. He suggested that they go for a picnic." Not that uh, he said. He suggested to let them go for a picnic. He said, "If it is suggestion, you sir, he suggested that they go for a picnic. This is suggestion is within themselves, not to another person. If it is another person, you can say like that. He he requested them to let them go for a picnic. To let them go for a picnic. Here suggestion is within this group. Understand? So you say, suppose one of you in the class, you say." Let's go for a picnic. That means you are saying. So we say, uh, he suggested, he suggested uh, that they go for a picnic because that is a something that is happening within this group or within this circle. But suppose you will tell somebody else in the group. He said he said he he uh, proposed. You can say in that case he has a proposed. Proposed that they he proposed to to let them go for a picnic. He proposed to let them. He proposed to them to let them go for a picnic. Or he proposed to him. Let's say there's one person here. Okay, he proposed to him. To let them say, or to make it more clear, let's say, let us make it clear. He proposed to his, to the principal. Oh, okay. He proposed. He proposed to the principal to let them go for. A picnic. So that, to let them go for a picnic. In this case, he suggested, or he said, let's let's let us go. See, let's let us go. One of us. You think I'm saying? He suggested that they go for a picnic. Understand that? Okay. So imperative sentences, depending on their the sense of the imperative sentence. If it is an order, you should say order. You should suggestion. You should suggest. See, or another example. Let's say, uh, don't don't go to his search. Don't uh, sit late. Okay. So we say he advised them. He advised them not. To sit late. 
సిల్లి నాట్ టు సిల్ లేదు డోంట్ సిల్ నాట్ టు సిల్ లేదు ప్లీజ్ కాల్ దిస్ ఓలీ ప్లీజ్ అలౌ మీ ప్లీజ్ అలౌ మీ టు ఎండర్ టు యూస్ ద లైబ్రరీ నాట్ టు ఎండర్ టు యూస్ టు యూస్ ద లైబ్రరీ సో ఇట్స్ హీ రిక్వెస్ట్ him or the librarian to allow him to use the library to use the library okay, okay? so now since we have seen three kinds of sentences let us have a mix of all the three and see how are we going to do that right okay so we we'll have like this you will begin with a statement okay uh so he said he said uh you should come to the to the hall to the hall as at tomorrow so we will have that you should all come to the hall tomorrow tomorrow to tomorrow okay then then one of them one of them asked where should we where should we come the teacher then su- suggested come to come to the first floor first floor of the library so, so you have got three types of questions here so then he said so it's three types of sentences he said you should come to the light to the hall tomorrow then one of them asked where should we come for me there is plenty of space the teacher then suggested come to the first floor of the table floor okay one more uh, sentence we will add then another student another student another student said is that all right so you have first is a statement then you have what uh, you have an answer no question you have got an imperative sentence you have got, sorry you have got a wh question you have got a now how are you going to do this a simple person see then you will say like that he said that he said that because it is a statement that they should they should go come will go go to the they should go to the hall to stop and the next day the next day to stop then then one of them asked then one of them asked him where where should where where they should go first of where they should go say this made in statement 
And next will be the teacher then suggested. The teacher then suggested. Suggested the to go to the first floor of the library. To go to the first floor of the library. First up. Then another student said, another student, students asked him whether whether oh, is whether that was whether that was all right. So you can see in this uh, direct speech, you have got uh, question marks, you have got uh, statements, full stops, you have got uh, uh, suggestions, you have got uh, yes or no question marks. But when you come to the direct speech, there is no such thing. He said that they should go, come, that's common sense. Yes. So he said that only this, this change happens only as far as come and go is concerned. So he said that they should go to the hall the next day. They should go to the hall the next day. Then one of them asked him where they should go. The teacher then suggested them to go to the first floor of the library. Another student asked him whether that was all right. Isn't it? Yes. So this is how you change directly. If you get a passage, suppose, you have got a long passage. Even then, then you remember these points. That how to change the questions into direct speech and etc. Then it becomes very really easy for you. Understand? It's a, the teacher do all his words, ask the student to get out. So I will, I will report that the teacher, the teacher shouted, shouted at the top of his voice, top of his voice to get out. That's the, the teacher, the teacher said, said, get out, get out. Then what happens? This is the indirect form. You can also give descriptions like this, depending on the context. It's just the top of his voice. Listen, yes. So let's say one second, one more passage we will do. And then let's see, proceed with the next one. All right. So you have got a passage like this. The teacher, the teacher asked the students, students, you should all you should, in short, should let us change the verb. The teacher asked the students, um, let us change that also. The teacher said, okay, is that all right? The teacher said, yes. The teacher said, you can do this work very well. Good stuff. Thank you. One of the students asked him what is the nature of 
da bak Tabii. Yani, anlaştık öyle mi? Gördüm. Ayında sarsız. We are too small to do such a hard work. Then, two, seven, never mind, never mind, uh, we shall try. So, we shall try. Ah, uh, then what happens? Can be. Can be. Another search. Another search. Look at this. Simple. Now what are we going to do this? The teacher said to the students that they could do that work very well. The teacher said to the students the teacher, the teacher said, said uh, to the students that they could do that work very well, very well. One of the students asked him what was what what the nature what the nature of the work was what the nature of the work was another student got up and said that they were that eh? that they were too small to do such a hard work to stop. Then Tom said, uh, to, uh, then Tom uh, said to them, okay, what do I say then? Tom said to them that they should not worry, never mind, worry about the nature of the work. About the nature of the work, these are things that we can supplement. Service. And that, and encourage them, encourage them to try, to try, full stop, or encourage them that they should try, we can write like that, encourage them that they should try, that also is possible. And finally you say, another asked whether, whether they could do it. So you can say, another asked. Another asked, another asked them whether, W -H -E -T -H, whether they could do it. So, so this is how you may, suppose you get long passages, very simple, slow way, understand, yes, okay, so, so now we have seen so far, Statements, how to make statements in the like speech. Questions, two types, yes, no. That means it should be introduced by whether or if. Okay? Whether or if. And if 
WH questions, you can use WH word for as a connecting or connecting the main gloss and the sub gloss or the, the direct speech and orders and requests and so we call the imperative sentences. What you do? You will convert that into an infinity. That's all. The main word was saying infinity and you are right. Alright? It's clear to you? Right. Bye.